In this video, I want to just quickly talk about sheet properties and how to alter the title block. So first, sheet, sheet setup. We want to change the background to be one of A, B, C, or D. And this will also shrink the page size down to the matching size. So page size, background sheet, A size, show the background and save defaults. This will mean that all of our subsequent sheets are also a sized. Okay. Now, when I want to draw up in a drawing, I'm going to go home, view wizard, find my file, and I should be able to just drop it into place. Cool. Now that I have my drawing, I want to go and edit the title block. The title block is accessible from the view ribbon on the sheet views, background. And you'll notice I have four blue boxes pop up, one for A, B, C, and D. Each of the title blocks is unique and corresponds to that page size only. Altering A will not change B, will not change C, will not change D. So clicking on the A sheet background, I can now edit the properties of each box. I can add in my own lines and other shapes. Just for kicks, I'm going to put a pair of circles here, jump back to sheet one, and there's my background circles, but my original shape that I had placed on the page was still visible. If I alter the background, it is reflected in sheet one as well. So, two methodologies for playing around with the text in this. One is just to go and select it. There you go. Certain text boxes will just pop up and you can put in whatever you want. But you also have a bunch of color boxes scattered around the page. Uh, this A Ronk is one of them. And we'll see it's a color box. The text leader, you can change the size of the text if you wanted. You can um, fill the text with background, stuff like that. Great. Feature callouts, order, so there isn't any. But we're generally going to be playing around with this generally. Now, each of these uh, percent brace name brace is a reference property text. And there's a bunch that are available in the document to you. I'm going to add one just for fun here. So I'm going to call it to reference and I'm going to put in uh, the file size. Okay. Now, often when I do these, I have to update the sheet in order to be able to see things. But right now the file size is zero. Let's see what happens when I save it. Save part two, great. And there we go, 16, 30, 84. If I don't like that, I can come back in and I can delete it. And I can also delete the author piece. And I can say, put my initials in. The date is automatically updated. And notice it says percent or, or origination date. And you have a format tag here. Under title, uh, it says present title. This is usually the file name, but you can also put your own title in here. We'll do that in a moment. Drawing number and revision. So these particular boxes, an easy way is to go into the data management tab. Data management tab, file properties, and you can look and see the last author, where it's located, when was it modified. But you also can just come back and say, hey, I just want to see the editable fields. There we go. 
checked by. Let's see if that's on this list. Revision number. I'm going to go with 002. Let's see if there's a project name. Document number 12345. Apply. Close. And Let's see what happened here. My file got updated, drawing number, and revision did not yet. But let's just go back into sheet one and see what happened. There we go. Drawing number 12345, revision 002. And the file name is the name of the file as it's been saved. That's it.